trading has closed on twenty eighth of August, two thousand twenty three. We always do our disclaimer first, and then we go over our calls and then make some predictions. So my trading plan for tomorrow, which is the twenty ninth of August, twenty twenty three. Please remember, I can be dead wrong. Trade at your own risk. Also, I have a personal business. From now through the middle of next month, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do a good job, but I'm just not having as much time as I normally do. We had today as a possible change in trend day based on somebody else's work. Look for the pattern with the early high, which is this, and tomorrow should also have the early high. I was hoping today was going to be a low, and I said, unless we gapped up smartly, we hit a target of 4380.11. And I said we had lower targets and if we went under this 4317.52, I'd go long. Well, we gapped up. According to the rules, the calls killed before the open. There's no call. Let's take a look at uh, what MJT had to say for today and see if we can actually get a call for tomorrow. During the day we had this gap up, a big rally, me JT said optionally a lower target was going to print. This is going to work 95% of the time. It's not as good as my usual targets, but 95% isn't bad and we got the lower target. This looked pretty ugly. Me JT said this drop wasn't going to hold. We we're going to retrace. And we did. So that's already played out. So we have to rely on other things. Now, <clears throat> we had various price targets for lows. We originally looked for a low under 4,200. And we had a number of things around the Mij around the uh, DeMarc TDST lines in the 4,166 area. Here's his TDST line on the daily chart. Here's his TDST line on the weekly chart. And in this chart, that's support. We're still operating under his sell signal, which was given last month. We're leaving behind a lot of targets here, and these things should print at some time. They just don't have to be anytime soon. This is a price target. This is a this is a price pattern, which usually closes near the high of day. If it doesn't, at least it trouble. Now it counts as today's close, but tomorrow's open. You open up here, it's a normal pattern. But if we don't open up here, it's negative. And don't forget, we also gapped up, hit a higher high, closed under all these highs, couldn't hold it. We stopped right here at the resistance offered by the prior consolidation. If you're a bull, you want us to get through this area because this is resistance. And if we get through resistance, we still have higher targets. But if we don't, as we've said before, we've come so close to hitting these lower targets, they're not going to offer much support if, and that's an if, if we start dropping. So how can we count this rally? Well, we had this as possible A, possible B. This could be A of C and B of C. And notice how it stopped right at the 38.2% retrace. 38.2% retrace of this drop. Now, usually if you break, if you break through this, it'll go up to the 61.8, but stopping it the 38.2 is entirely possible. Now, if we do stop at the 38.2, this would be A down, this would be B, this would be AB, and if we get C of B at our 41.66 target, then C and A
with him. A 2.618 to 1 ratio. So with our 4166 target, there's wave balance of multiple degrees. Now, as I said before, just because that number works, it doesn't mean some other number won't. And just because it works if we start dropping, doesn't mean we're going to start dropping. But we are at resistance. We are at a time when other people's work calls for high. And I'll tell you, based on someone else's work, this is also a price which calls for high. I like to tell you their stuff works every time, but it doesn't. But when it works, it's pretty impressive. And if we do get a drop here, we've come so close to these support levels, I think support's gone. And if we do start dropping, particularly if these fall early, like the gapping under here, which hasn't happened yet, but if that happens, I just don't have much support before 4166, in spite of all these sentiment indicators, which are quite positive. And that's kind of disconcerting to me, but that's, that's I don't see much support if, if we drop. Well, today's pattern has a really high, Tuesday's pattern has a really high. Doesn't mean you won't gap down. We gapped up, hit a higher high, and then closed under intraday highs. If maintained in tomorrow's early trade, we should see lower prices. That, doesn't, that alone doesn't guarantee a lower close. We got the rally and last hour high usually offered by today's pattern, but the close was weak. It wasn't by the high. And the midday high just missed being higher than the early morning high. That's not what usually happens. Ideally, we should either gap up to a new relative high or move down sharply. And that would give us one of the two normal patterns. <coughs> Today was a change in trend time based on unrelated systems of other people. I felt it would be ideal if it were a low because the sentiment indicators are quite bullish, but clearly today wasn't a low. If the time works, and of course we don't know if it's gonna work. If the time works, it should be a high. The price is a direct hit for a top based on someone else's work. There's a wave count which would allow for a pullback into the 4160s without changing the bullish longer term picture. Sentiment indicators are not. These things are not pinpoint indicators. They're close in terms of time. They don't necessarily, they aren't necessarily close in terms of price. We've stopped at a 38.2% retrace of the recent drop and if it holds, I see little support here as relevant support levels have already been tested and the second test tends not to hold. So I'm pretty positive in the market long term. I think the, the sentiment indicators are those which are typically seen in terms of time close to lows. But this is a rally into resistance with no support beneath it if the rally fails. So bulls really have to take us up here. We start dropping here, it could be very painful for those people who are long, even though I think they'll win in the long run. So it's the pattern with the early high, I'm gonna pay close attention to the early trade because if it's weak, I think it's gonna have legs. That's an if, and that's today's call.